Everyday life's happening. Some days are more eventful. Others, living protected with insurance you can depend on changes your life for the better. We insure the people and things you care about. Not Not Agency. We'll help you find the right coverage so when life happens, you have the right insurance protection for your family and business. When life happens, live protected. Welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, September the 20th. It is good to have you with us today. We're going to talk about pets today. Now, most of us have either dogs or cats in our house, millions of people. And uh, if you are a pet owner, your dog or your cat is a member of the family. And we know, as pet owners, we know that they understand an awful lot that people who don't have pets can't comprehend that. I want to introduce you to Mar Doring. Good Thank to have you, you here, Mar. Thank you so much. Uh, for came all the way me. from Holt Summit. You were all, all Paws Medical and Behavioral Center in Holt That's Summit. That's right. Thank you. Uh, today we wanted to talk a little bit about separation anxiety in pets because that is a big thing. Some 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 dogs or cats can handle it very well. Others can't. That's right, and especially. Now that the kids have gone back to school and some people have been off work for the summer and are going back, if you didn't handle it quite right when you go back to work and school, the animals are a little freaked out. And so there's some things you can do to prepare them. There's some things you can do to help them if they've already got a problem. But you're 100% right. It depends on the animals. Just like people, animals have different personalities. Some are the kind of animal that's well balanced. And oh gosh, it's OK and, and if you come and go. some have a couple of loose screws. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to put it that way, but well, yes, <laughs> but you did. It's true. If, if you're an animal, if you're an animal lover and you've got pets in the house, you know that each one of them have a distinct personality. Oh, yes, they do. And I've got one cat that's got a couple of loose screws. <laughs> uh, but so how do, you, uh, how do you deal with that separation anxiety? Well, if you know in advance that you've been at home and you're getting ready to change your schedule, mm -hmm. it helps if you take some baby steps with it so that you go away for short periods. If you haven't done that, you can still work on things. But couple of things that you can do that really help if it's a dog or even if it's a cat exercise and for a dog walking them is fantastic exercise mm -hmm. exercise them before you leave which bonds them to you reminds them that you're their protector guider the person that they love but also that the person that they follow that would do no harm right. so then when you leave it's a-okay with them right when you do that, then you bring them back in the home and you are very calm and you're doing the right thing. You cannot feel guilt because as you said at the beginning, animals do have a tendency to understand not only what we say, but our emotions. So mm -hmm. animals have different personalities and they take it in a little different. I almost think that animals can read our minds. Oh, I believe that. I think yes. they can pick up on what we are thinking without even saying anything. That is exactly right. And some people will say and try to say, um, you know, it's okay, I'm gonna go. But the way they say it, their inflection or tone right. allows the animal to know that they're not okay yeah. with it. You can say, it's okay, I'm gonna go and I'll be back real soon. Or you can say, oh, poor baby, I'm gonna go for a little while. Right. We're gonna miss you and we'll be back. That, right. You don't wanna do that. You're feeding their anxiety. And even more than that, what people don't sometimes understand is when animals think that we're leaving, people say, oh, well, they're so sad we're leaving. But the truth of the matter is, if you leave feeling guilty and sad and stressed out, they then think, well, you know, there's something the matter with mom mm -hmm. or dad. Mm -hmm. I should be worried about them. I should protect them. Well, how can I protect them if they leave? And they can't, and they know it, and that adds to their stress. So if, you, now, now, taking them to the kennel to board them. Yes. I've got five cats and one dog. They know, they yeah. know when it's time to go. Yeah. So we have to be very, uh, very secretive about things and not even talk about it right. to the last minute because right. they pick up on it. Right. Uh, and I think most people listening 
who have animals know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Is there a way to prepare them to go to the kennel and stay for a while? Well, there is, but I think getting them used to the situation helps. So if you've got, for cats, you've got kennels that you can leave out, associate them with some nice treats being in there, mm -hmm. so that as soon as they see the kennels, they're not going to be upset. Also, it helps for a dog to take them on a walk always helps, whether it's for separation anxiety and you're leaving them at home or whether it's for going to the vet, going to a boarding facility, any place. Taking them on a walk makes them feel that you are doing the right thing for them and you're leading them someplace. And then to go ahead and sometimes make a little, not so much for cats, but for dogs, make a little visit to the vet or to the boarding facility where they're going to be staying, where they're not going to stay. They're just going to come. Right, they're going to go and come. Exactly. And say, oh, it's okay. Get a couple of rewards so that they understand. But as you were just mentioning, the most important thing is you cannot feel guilt. Even if you have to be an actor or an actress, about this, you have to realize you're doing the best thing because you love your animal and they will only believe it if you <laughs> if believe you it. That right. That's <laughs> exactly. Right. That's right. Uh, what about uh, animals who are frightened during thunderstorms? That's a big one. Really, sometimes those animals sadly need some help through some medication, so you definitely want to check with your veterinarian if some things I'm telling you don't work. But again, the big thing is do not feed their anxiety. So what people like to do is go, oh, it's okay, honey, it's mm -hmm. okay, in that sweet voice that works for us. and and tells us that the person cares. But to an animal, that sounds like you're worried too. Exactly. Yes. Ann Gafke, who I just love, she's a wonderful, wonderful dog trainer, and my dogs have gone to her classes forever. She was telling me that about one of my dogs, that when, when Shadow is frightened about a thunderstorm, don't make all over him and right. say, oh, oh, it's right. okay, Shadow. Just act like nothing is wrong or try right. to distract it right. because they pick up on that. Right. Well, and even more than that, to go ahead and see what the signs are. When you very first see that your animal's getting a little anxious, some people don't realize this, but they will yawn and they will lick their lips. So just a little lick of a lip can mean something. If you see that happening, there has been a veterinary behaviorist that has done studies that says how we handle that is not to say, oh, it's okay, honey. Instead, it's to go ahead and to either yawn, lick your lips, or what I like to do is just take deep breaths, which I think calms the person, but it also helps to calm the animals. It's a calming signal. So you take deep breaths if yes. they start doing that? Loud breaths. Go. Okay. <gasps> Okay. Yes. All right, more And People... you can see the animal calm down when you do that. For more information, how can they contact you? You can contact me at All Paws Medical and Behavioral Center in Holt Summit, Missouri. Okay. And our phone number is 573-896-4040. And we would love to help you in any way we can. Thank you, more. Thank you so much. Pleasure having you here. We're out of time for today. Drop me an email, pepperp.missouri.edu. Bye-bye.